So let's go through this. Um, I just want to kind of show what you've done here, and then we're going to break it up and kind of walk through it. So it's Mitch from, B from Beatdrop. I uh, thought it was time we reconnect, and I have some exciting news I want to share with you that I think you're going to love. But first, and that's cool because, and I'm just going to explain some things that if, if people are watching this and they don't really get what's going on here, just want to narrate what's happening here. From what I see it, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Mitch. Um, but when he, when he goes into, you know, I think you're going to love, but first, he's op he's opening a loop there. So he's he's trying to, to draw you in to, to read the rest of the copy, and he's going to give you something else to you know, that is exciting. So when we did a recent survey um, where we asked producers a few questions, one of the questions we asked was, what frustrated you most about producing music? And you know what the majority of people said? They said lack of time. I get it. Trying to be able to juggle uh, a, a job or school or life in general makes it very hard to work on your music, let alone learn software, techniques, how synth works, how to mix down your track, et cetera, et cetera. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to send you uh, some videos helping you to get the most out of the limited time that you have. There's some things I've learned and am learning that will help you with your time management or, and mindset as a producer. I can't wait to, share, to send them to you. Keep a lookout as, a, and on, as I'll send the first one in a couple of days. Have a great day. Oh, yeah, the exciting news, BeatDrop is launching the new BeatDrop online later this month in an all new learning platform loaded with incredible content for beginner and intermediate producers made super affordable. If you want to get on the VIP list, please subscribe here. Okay. So the only thing I want to point out here, I don't know if I said it in the, uh, in the breakdown, but I, as, as I'm reading this, I just want to point this out. So this here is it's, it's general stuff. And it's kind of like, I'm going to use the word um, begging for people to do something. And we all do this. It's not just Mitch, right? We all kind of say, if you want to, to do this, please do this, right? Where we're, the way that I started to write was more of called presupposition. Basically, you're going to go do this. So here's how you go do this, right? And you'll see this in the copy. But if I don't mention this later on, I just want to bring this up right here. So we want to try to get away from if you want to. So you you know, when we're writing copy, it's more of when you want to, when you go sign up, when you get to the waiting list, right? That kind of stuff. So you're, you're just basically pre, presupposing that they're going to do this thing, all right? And then the please subscribe here is not bad copy. Uh, I just try to stay away from saying, please go go do this for me. Right. I just say, here's, here's how you go do this. Is that cool? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool, man. So let's break this down. This is the before. I'm going to break this down into a couple chunks. This is the before, and there's a couple things I want to jump to. First of all, let's jump down to the bottom of the notes here, where I've said I've, I've removed its Mitch, and what I do, what I'm suggesting for you is to put that in the from field in your email, okay? So you're starting out with the its Mitch from Beatdrop, and I get that. That's cool, um, but it's like you're you're putting yourself first ahead of the customer, right? There's nothing wrong with doing that. But I think because this is a reconnect email, it might be better for you to just get right to the point and for you to put it in the from address of your email, you know, and you can change the name of who it's from. Just put Mitch from BeatDrop right there, okay? Instead of BeatDrop or, you know, Mitch Lee, like put it Mitch from BeatDrop and that'll take care of the entire line. They'll know right away who it's from. And then they'll be able to also read the first lines of my email if you're using mine, right? And say, you know, it'll say Mitch from Beatdrop, and then it'll say, "Hey Joey, it's time we reconnect." And I'm gonna go, "What?" Like I'm gonna see that before I even open my email. Right. And so what I did is I got straight to the point of why I should read this. And so if you look at mine, uh, it says it's time to reconnect, and I'm like, I'm just going. I'm just opening that loop. I'm going, why should we reconnect? Mm -hmm. And then I said, because I have exciting news that directly affects you. So right away, there's two open loops there. We need to reconnect. Why? Because I have exciting news that directly affects you. What's the exciting news? And then I'm using presuppositions like I talked about, right? You're going to love it. So I'm saying this is going to directly affect you and you're going to love it. Okay. And I removed the piece here on this side. You can see here, I removed the uh, the recent survey stuff. Like, yeah. I'm not really sure. Again, for me personally, I don't know if they really care that you did a survey. And it mm -hmm. kind of sounds like 
it's corporate and here we did this official thing. And so forget it. Like they don't, that doesn't really advance the sale for me, the right. survey part. It might drop them off when they're reading them. We did a recent survey law ah, who gives a shit and they're, and they close the email. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so I'm going, you know, I have exciting news. You're going to, that directly affects you. You're going to love it. But first I want to help you out. So you're giving goodwill, right? Yeah. If you're struggling, did you, you can you can cut me off here anytime, bro. If you have any questions or okay. comments, um, so, but first I want to help you out. If you're struggling with time to make music like all of our other students, so it's goodwill, and you're putting them into a group of people because they we all think we're all alone when we have trouble. Totally, yeah. You're not right. You're like everyone else. Yeah. So now I'm going, dude. Everyone else has the same problem. I'm going to help you out fixing that. And then you get into here, the reason why proof. So you said, you know, one of the questions we asked, what frustrated you? And you know what majority said people like, this is not bad copy, bro. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being, you know, <laughs> I'm being harder than I need to be. No, I like right? it. It's an alternative or another way of saying it for sure. Yeah. It just, I like just to break things up. And you know, if I gave this to someone else, they could rip mine all apart too and reword everything. Like you okay. can continue to go. And rip it all apart. Quicker. Yeah, it's getting to the point quicker and getting rid of. Yeah, I think you're right. When people see that survey, they're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What yeah. survey? And then, and if they weren't part of the survey, they're gonna go, well, what, what, what do I care? Right. Right. So you, we don't know unless everybody, you know, was part of that survey and they, they actually did it. So to me, I just don't think it's it's important information that needs to be there at this point. Sure. Um. So this just says, like, you know what? We talked to a lot of people, and they told us lack of time is the main thing they're frustrated with when it comes to producing music, and that's basically what you said here. And it's just proof. It's like, here's the reason why I want to help you, because people told us lack of time, right? So you're giving them a reason why and proof that that's the real reason because people have said it, okay? Okay, yeah. Now, the next piece is this. You go on to, you know, I get it, um, trying to be able to juggle, a, you know, job, school, blah, blah, blah. And what I've done is I've, I've just basically broken up the sentences down here to make them easier to read. And I've added kind of a benefit list of what it is that they're, you know, let alone, I call it a benefit list, but it's more of a problem list. I should re rename that. This yeah. is more of a problem list, right? So, but it, it, your eyes scan to that, right? So let's, let's go through this. So you say, I get it. Boom, period. That's that's like the main thing you want them to know. You get it. And then the next sentence is, and I know how it feels, which is empathy, because people yeah. love to know that somebody else feels exactly the way they feel. Right. So, so the feel, felt, and found, those three words, feel, felt, and found, it's a powerful way of, of writing copy or, you know, putting, um, emphasizing empathy with other people. I know how you feel. I felt the same way. Here's what I found, right? That's the three the three F formula. Okay, so that's all I'm using here. I could have used the other two Fs in here somewhere. Yeah. I didn't decide to, um, but I know how it feels to, to you know juggle a job, and I just copied what exactly you did. Yeah. Then let alone setting time to so it, it breaks it up for them so that when they're scanning, they're going to go wait a second, you know, learn software techniques and. So they, if they're not reading the entire copy, they'll probably scan to that piece and they'll see all those things. Whereas over here, it's kind of all lumped together. No, that's makes perfect sense. That's totally how I would read it too. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. We're on the same page. Um, anything else there? No. The next piece is this. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to send you some videos, right? So again, the, th the same thing I did here was broken up the sentences just to make it easier to read. So you've this here I didn't add because I'm just stole it from you and but it's goodwill. In the next few weeks, I'm gonna help you out. Right. So I just said you said in the next few weeks I'm gonna send you some videos. I just put in I'm gonna help you out. Again, I'm giving you goodwill. Why why should you look for my emails? And then it's a call to action. Be on the lookout for some free videos that will help you, right, get the most out of the limited time you have. And you used that already. Uh where is it here? videos helping you get the most out of. So I just took helping you and I said that will help you. Presupposition. Okay. 
So when you get these videos, they will help you. And don't don't worry about uh, copying all this kind of stuff because I, I have it for you in a text file. I'll okay. give it to you I'm just if you're trying to do that. <laughs> um, and then I have a whole big one at the end. You can read how it, how it flows. I just wanted to go through the pieces first. Perfect. Um, and so then you go into this. There's some things I've learned, which is great. I just stole it and put it in here, right? There's a few things I've learned. And then I'm still learning, by the way, you know, just yeah. breaking up the context of it because it's reading a little bit, you know, and am learning is kind of weird the way it was written, uh, flowed to me. Yeah. So I just broke it up. I'm still learning, by the way. It's funny and it how makes you it... find that, like, the way we talk and the way we write is different. Like, because I, I, I was working on a script this morning for, for this series and I was typing, oh, this is really good. And then what I did is I practiced talking it. And I was like, whoa, this is so jumbled and so effed up. And then, and like, it's so different than when we talk. And the way that you're putting on the right there seems more like the way that someone would talk, like I would talk. Exactly. I, I would never talk that way, the way that I wrote my copy. And I can't right. get away from that. I can't, yeah. No, but that's good. You see, like, you're still writing uh, with the brain dump, and then you did the right thing, which is write, read it out loud. I didn't have the time to read this out loud yet, the one I wrote. I would yeah. probably change a few things of how things transition, yeah. but it still writes the way that I would directly speak. I talk this way, you know, and that's why, see, like, here, this piece here is, I would definitely do that. Like, if I was talking to somebody, yeah. I go, you know what, there's a few things I've learned, and by the way, I'm still learning. Like, I would stop my my thought. Right. And then I would put them in parentheses in my mind because I'm ADD and I'm going, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm still learning. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to come across arrogant. Like, I know everything, right? I want them to say and and to get across that learning is you got to learn every day. You get your, yeah. It never stops. You never stop as a producer or musician. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So then you're going on with this is killer stuff. Again, pre presupposition going, you're going to love this and I can't wait to send them to you, right? And then clear instructions. You'll receive the first video in a couple of days. I just changed what you said here to, I forget what it was here. Uh, keep on looking as I'll send the first one in a couple of days. So this is more of you'll receive this rather than I'll send this to you. There's nothing wrong with it, Mitch. I'm just yeah. Yeah. knowing like how I, how, why I worded it that way. It's yeah. more about, oh, I'm getting, I'm them. getting this thing, right? Yeah. yeah, it's more about them. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally. And then the last piece is where you said, have a great day and oh yeah, which is great because now you're taking like the top piece and then here's the exciting news. I just broke it broke it down into have a great day and then the, you know, the, the exciting news is in the PS section. By the way, I almost forgot about the exciting news. And the only thing that I changed was this here, this piece here, if you want to, I did talk about it. So you see, if you want to, instead yeah. of, right into to get on the vip waiting list like you need to go do this if you want to be on the waiting list yeah but it didn't say if you want to it's like right. to do this go yeah. do this right click here and i'll fill you in yeah and there's a whole presupposition so let's take a look at this i don't know if you can see that can you see that okay or should i blow it up uh let me pop it up on, i don't know if you can zoom in a bit can i do that how do i do that here you go to your Zoom in the top left there, I think. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. How's that? Yeah, that's better. All right, so it'll say, you know, from Mitch at B Drop. It's time we it's time we reconnect because I have uh, exciting news that directly affects you. You're gonna love it. But first, I want to help you out if you're struggling with time to make music like all of our other students. They told us that lack of time is the main thing they're frustrated with when it comes to producing music. I get it, and I know how it feels trying to juggle a job, school, and life in general when you want to work on your music, let alone setting time aside to learn new software, uh, techniques, how synth works, how to mix down your track, etc. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to help you out. Be on the lookout for some free videos that will help you get the most out of the limited time you have. There's a few things I've learned, and you might even put, you know, learned along the way. That'd be, that'd be like some, some cool copy there. Yeah. You know, learn along the way. See, as I'm reading it out loud, this is what I would add, right? Yeah. Learned along the way. I'm still learning, by the way, that will help you with your time management and mindset as a producer. This is killer stuff, and I can't wait to send them to you. Um, send them. This is, again, when I'm reading this, I'm going, send what? Because I forgot already. 
I'm sending what? Are you sending me about the time management, the mindset? Are you sending me the video? Like, what am I talking about there? So you need to be clearer. Okay. Send the videos. You. Sorry. Send. Okay. And I can't wait to send the videos to you. You received the first one. And that's what we talked about here. See the first one in a couple days. Have a great day. And by the way, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And to what me, do you think? Point of this whole email was really about the by the way, about the PS. But I'm exactly. Not... But you need the reason. Right. To and get want... to that. Yeah. And I, I, I felt this was a better way of, man, I'm going to, I'm going to make four videos on time management for producers. And that was a way of warming up this list. And um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to send, keep sending these. Every time we do a video, I'll send this out again and say, by the way, we're doing that, you know, as a way, as I just thought is the best way. Instead of just normally what, what I would have done is just, hey, we're doing a new thing. Click here. You know, <laughs> like, right. Right. So I felt like this might be the best way to nurture and, and give, you know, hope, give them really good stuff, like really good things based upon that survey. Right. So, yep. So then what my question to you is that is mindset, you know, a big part of what they said. Um, no, no, it was, it, I, I kind of want to sneak that in because I think it's super important and it's, it has to do with time management. So mindset is more about why we want to, the mindset, the mindset stuff affects mm -hmm. time management and being disciplined and having routines and, you know, blocking your calendar and getting rid of distractions and blah, 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 blah. To me, that's mindset. I probably yep. don't even need to use that word. I know in our, in our, your, our world, mindset yep. is something we understand. If I was to talk to a normal producer, they would, mindset is not a catchy word. Like they'd be like, yeah, oh, like it's a mindset, like a way of thinking. And like, and that's true. That actually is true. So it works, but it's not what we think when we think, I, I think in, in your world, mindset is kind of catchy phrase right now. Right. Terms yeah, that. well, in, in their world, that's what I'm saying to you. Like, A, they didn't really talk about it. And B, it's it might sound woo-woo to them. What do you mean mindset? Um, and secondly, it might stop them right there going, what, what do you mean mindset? So I would probably do this yeah. with your time management so you can, right, which is another big transitional phrase, so yeah. you can, right, get more done yeah, as in person. less time as a producer type of yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. So you, I'm going to. And, and so, the, you know, you've probably heard the phrase of give them what they want, but teach, with, give them, teach them what they need. Right, right. Right. Start with what they want, but actually teach them what they need. So uh, that's but, exactly why I threw mindset in is there is like they need to learn this because but I, they didn't ask for it. You're totally right. So, yeah. In the video, you can. So yeah. like, okay, hey, you know, here's how we're going to get your stuff done. And one of the things that you need to understand at this point is something called mindset. Right. And whether you've heard that or not, here's what it means. And then you go into it and you teach it because that's what they need. But they, they came because of the, oh, you're going to teach me how to get more music done in less time. Right. And I started, I used, started writing the script for the first one. And I used uh, the, 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 the line, because I think this is something they would understand, is how to hack your day. Like that yep. concept of hacking your day so that you can get more done in less time. Um, yeah. So then put that in here. There's a few, things, a few things I've learned kind of, kind of time management is kind of corporate. Right. So the new things I've learned about hacking. Well, your no, day. Would, what about that will help you hack your day so you can get more done. Keep going like further on in that sentence. So you can get more, so you can hack your day. No, no. Right here. Before that. Before that. Oh, right here. That will help you hack your day. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's cool. That will help help you pack your day, All right? So you can get more. So the yeah. few things I've learned, I don't mind th learned along the way or whatever you had there. That's fine. I think that will help you hack your day. That will help. So you don't use the you there. That will help hack your day, so you can get more done in less time. You don't probably need this because it's 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 like yeah. right because if I'm a DJ and I don't know are they all yeah. producers? And maybe get more done maybe um, make more music. Yes, there you go. So you can make more music exactly. So now you got it, man. Make more music because this is what it is, right? These are the these are the catchphrases that are that's easy copy. 
So what are they, what are they, what's the problem? And then what do they want? So here's the problem. We're going to help you do this so you can get the result, right? I think you need the word in after music there. In most time. Yeah, I love that. That's great. Cool, right? 